Hi everyone, and super exciting new fellowship was launched for engineering students today, the Quad Fellowship Program. It is meant for engineering students and is an awesome opportunity to apply for. It's applicable for 100 students from US, India, Japan, and Australia to study for masters and PhD programs in any institution across four countries. If you want to study for an MS program, a STEM MBA program, or a PhD program in the US, this is a great chance to get full financial funding for the next year. That is for fall 2003, which actually begins in August 2003. You will have to apply right now. So the deadline to apply is June 30th for the next year. So if you are a third year student and you are going to graduate next year, you have to apply for this program if you are interested in studying abroad. The deadline is going to be June 30th. Again, like I said, less than a month away. So go ahead and put in your application. Uh, the links will be provided, provided at the bottom in terms of where to apply and how to apply. But uh, I'll give you a brief synopsis of how this works. So each quad fellow is going to get a one-time grant of $50,000, which can be used for tuition, research, fees, books, rooming and board and other related expenses. So when I say related expenses, I'm talking about registration fees, research related travel and so on. So that can be covered by the $50,000 which should be given over as a one-time grant. This award can also be supplemented by other fellowships and grants. So if you're getting other fellowships on top of it, that's okay. You will get more money in your hands. You'll also get round trip airfare to and fro from the United States to the home country. So all quad fellows are also eligible to apply for separate needs based funding. So if you are poor and if you're not able to afford your education for some reason, you can get up to an additional $25,000 $25, to cover the costs related to completing the graduate level studies. Now let's dig deeper in. Let's talk about eligibility, evaluation criteria, how to apply and the timelines. So the eligibility is that you have to graduate by August 2023 to be covered and grades are important. So you have to have good grades when you apply for this program and you could apply as a um, person who's gonna graduate from the undergraduate program. But even if you are already studying your master's or PhD program abroad, especially in the US, you can still apply as a current master's or a PhD student. So the evaluation criteria is that uh, academic excellence is important, passion for the intersection of science, society, and policy is also important. That's the second evaluation criteria. So you can prove it by either doing research internships, research projects, or by doing industry internships. The third aspect is that you need to show the capacity to bring, to bridge differences across people and um, try to bring people together. So that's one, one more criteria to consider. The last criteria is orientation towards results. So how much focused are you in terms of getting to results, whether it's your research projects or any other project you have been involved in? So I've always talked about this in my earlier videos where I say that whatever you put on your resume should be based on what you accomplished at the end of the day. So again, the orientation towards results is very important. In terms of how to apply, there's an online application form to be filled out. The deadline is June 30th for the next year in August. So for next fall, fall 2003, 2023, you got to apply right away. Not another one month by June 30th. You got to submit your resume, statement of purpose, uh, two essays, and three letters of recommendation by June 30th. The TOEFL score is required, but not the GRE scores. In terms of the statement of purpose, you need to basically make this as a way to establish how interested you are in the program you want to consider. So how do you intend to impact others for the betterment of society? And uh, how will being a quad fellow aid you in achieving your professional aspirations? So these are the things you want to be touching on in your statement of purpose. So it's a great opportunity for you to explain your academic and research interests and experiences. The short essay responses are prompts which are provided when you fill up your essays and your application. And uh, this is a way for you to explain in a lot more detail in terms of what will you bring in uniquely as a quad fellow and how will your academic and professional goals be impacted by getting this fellowship. So that's important. 
there are two essay subjects which is about uh, leading positive change and sharing and bridging diverse perspectives so these are important things you may want to highlight in your essays your resume should not be more than two pages and should include all relevant experiences like uh, your educational achievements your work experience your volunteer work and also your publications if you have any so if you have very good stem publications and research you have to put it out there letters of recommendation you need to submit three and two of them should be at least from the professors even the third can be either from professors or from somebody in industry on top of it you also need to submit your TOEFL scores uh, but not your GRE scores so by the time you submit your application in June what happens is that after June 30th the applications are going to be evaluated so interviews will happen after mid July to October so the results will be announced in October around the mid to end of October and that's when you are uh, selected as a quad fellow so once you're done with the interviews and after the results are announced uh, you'll be part of a quad program where it's called um, an elect program where you'll be participating in organized virtual programming virtual learning sessions guest speaker sessions and you'll also get very good feedback on college applications uh, if you ask me personally i think that once you get this great fellowship no college is going to say no to you when it comes to applications so you can apply to whichever college you want even whether it's mit stanford harvard you could just get in very quickly and you will basically join the institute in august of 2023 okay so i'm going to stop here if you not want to know more about what i'm talking about check the website of the quad fellowship program it's squadfellowship.org check it out and if you want to apply for a registration session a formal session for you to learn more about the program i posted a link in the description below so go and click on the link and learn more okay i'm stopping now if you have uh, any other questions about this let me know in the comments below uh, you can also see the faq section at quadfellowship.com that's a place where you can get more information uh, like and subscribe if you like similar content and want to see more of it cheers folks i had a very good time talking to you and hopefully uh, you had a good time listening to me. Bye-bye.